Welcome to Tammy's Tiny Tots Reborn. It is Mashing Monday. Lay down, Chuck. Get in your chair. Get in your chair. Sorry, my dog started to cry right when I was pushing the start button, of course. He's just in my little front foyer right here on the other side of this door. And uh, laying in his... He has a, believe it or not, a Winnie the Pooh kids foam chair. And uh, that's where he likes to lay. All right, so I'm expecting my aunt soon. But I have the twins... Miss Josie and Jonah laying here and I am going to change them into their matching outfits for this week so Josie's outfit has small little bunnies it's pink with pink hearts and small little bunny rabbits all over it and then it's got cute little bunnies on the feet and Jonah's is actually I think it's supposed to be girls but it's a blue color so we're gonna put it on Jonah and he has little bunnies on his feet too so they're both gonna have bunny rabbits on their feet and this one's blue with bunnies all over it so that's what they're going to wear and i'm sure you know why because what's coming soon but the easter bunny the easter is coming yes you know my granddaughter's very excited i think we're going to um pick up some little um plastic eggs and maybe hide them around the backyard or something and do it let her do an easter egg hunt or do it in the house i'm not sure i always worry well if they're in the plastic hard plastic eggs it's not so bad but i always worry with um the two dogs you know having dogs and if we accidentally don't find the right amount of chocolate eggs one of the dogs could end up finding it and they'd eat it and that could be a terrible problem so I um, don't really like once the I don't really like having you know an Easter egg hunt because Easter Bunny of course comes to her mommy's house so here I was just thinking of having a nice Easter egg hunt since the Easter Bunny doesn't come to my house anymore because there are no there's no children here they all moved out well except Andrew but he's a grown up and he doesn't get Easter stuff from us. Or from the Easter Bunny anymore because he's a grown-up. Easter Bunny doesn't come to us grown-ups just for kids. But yeah, um, I thought I'd just do a little Easter egg hunt here for something fun for her to do here. But I worry about hiding stuff and then the dogs <laughs> finding it and Elena not finding it. And then we're in big trouble. <laughs> um, but I was thinking if I did it and put little treats inside of those hard, those plastic, hollow plastic eggs you can get at the dollar store then I'll know exactly how many I put out because let's say I, I, I only hide 12, you know, then I know until she finds 12, she does not stop searching, <laughs> basically. So yeah, that was my thought process on that one anyways. So I'm just gonna get her a pink headband over here. But yeah, so um, we're. Is that gonna? Is that too? Oops. No, oh, that's not. That's actually cute. So, that's what we're planning on doing for Easter. Is just a little bit of an Easter egg hunt for Elena. And that and that's about it, I think. No, that's not the right pink. No. Now there's that. Hmm. So many headbands to choose from. We got so many. This is only one box of them, too. I have another box. Hmm. I've not worn this on a baby before. It's very cute. But not for this outfit. Not for a sleeper. A little too fancy for a sleeper. Same with that. That's kind of fancy. I wanted something just kind of plain, but... Uh, here we go. Just a plain old pink bow. That's perfect. Just to make her look like the little girl she is. Well, now that she, uh, since she has a twin brother, right? We don't want people thinking she's a boy. Even though she's wearing pink. But I don't know about anyone else, but when I, when my, I had boy-girl twins. And they are now 26. 
and um, I'll put you here. So they're 26 years old now, and um, when they like when they were when they were babies, people would walk up to me, and I'd have her in pink, him in blue, in a double stroller, and they'd be like, "Oh." Are they two boys or two girls? A boy and a girl. Oh, and then it was, how do you tell them apart? That one blew my mind. How do I tell them apart? Hmm. Well, one is a boy, one is a girl. One has a body part that the other one doesn't have, for starters. <laughs> So, um, <laughs> you know, if I'm really in trouble with, you know, I'm, I'm looking at the baby and, you know, maybe the blue outfit doesn't let me know it's the boy. I don't know. Maybe the, the wee wee might let me know it's a boy. Considering he has one and she doesn't. So the one without one would be, in my books, the girl. <laughs> so <laughs> yeah I got asked that one a lot which is weird you don't expect people to ask you that question like oh how do you tell them apart um well for one also like the other thing too oh buddy bumped your head sorry about that the other thing too is um they you know they they didn't look identical because they they weren't identical twins they were fraternal so even as babies, they didn't look identical. You know, he was um, long and skinny, and she was kind of stubby and chubby. <laughs> he was long and skinny. Now that changed as they got a little bit bigger because he had uh, he had gastroesophagus reflux when he was a baby, which made him he'd just be sitting there looking at you, smiling, and formula would just be pouring out of his little mouth. His stomach would be digesting. And the flap at the top of his stomach didn't work properly. So it would, uh, you know, let um, his food slosh back up and out of his mouth. And he'd spit it up. Like, not that he meant to, but it would just happen. So, anyway, he, uh, I always just kept bibs on him. But when he was a baby, to keep his formula down... Um, so he wasn't, you know, losing weight and, and because he was spitting it all up all the time. Um, the, uh, I made sure that I thickened his food with pablum, um, his formula with pablum. So literally like when I take his bottle and go to flip it upside down to feed it to him, I'd have to do this so that the formula would go funk down into the nipple and I literally cut an X in the nipple and he would suck back that pablum thick pablum formula and then because of the weight of it it would keep it down in his tummy when his tummy would start gloshing if that flap wasn't closed and then he wouldn't spit it all up so it worked great and but he became a chubber wubber like he doubled in size in no time like he ended up with big thick thighs and he ended up being quite the little chubby boy so um and then she slendered well she slendered out a bit as they got older when they were when they were growing I always knew when Kate was gonna grow because she'd look nine months pregnant <laughs> and then she'd shoot up and the belly'd go flat again so I always knew that she was going to grow when, <laughs> when her belly was extended hugely, which was really cute. But yeah, every time she would grow, it would, she'd have a, she'd end up with a, a tubby belly all of a sudden. So there's my twins. Oh, look at you two together. Oh, you're just so cute. Look at those two babies. Brother and sister. Jonah and Josie. So cute. Oh, look at that. So cute. Well, there is our Matching Monday video for this week. I hope everyone enjoyed it. And uh, let me tell you, this sleeper is tight on him. <laughs> He's a muscular boy for wearing a little tiny sleeper like that. So, Well, everyone, hit that like if you 
you don't if you like this video you can hit the dislike if you didn't like this video because that's okay too but most of all everyone stay safe and smile and share a smile with a friend bye bye